What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're gonna talk about Star Wars. I mean did you think a day couldn't go by where there wasn't some type of negative news coming out of Lucasfilm? Of course not. This is Star Wars under Kathleen Kennedy. Clearly there's something negative to talk about. So this is an interview with Tony Gilroy, who's the screenwriter that was brought in to basically save Rogue One um, because Rogue One was a disaster all through the produ production and then finally they had to bring someone in to fix this disastrous film. And uh, so yesterday, this is on Vulture.com and a headline says, Screenwriter says Rogue One was just a mess before the reshoots. And I'm not going to read the whole article, but I'm going to point out a couple of things. But it says, considering this, these were Gilroy's first comments on the matter, and considering how tightly controlled the Star Wars machine is, the filmmaker tried to assess what was safe and germane to say, which meant he didn't go into great detail about who or what was so problematic. Oh, we know who is so problematic. Don't you worry, Tony Gilroy. We know. And her name is Kathleen Kennedy. But uh, he did tell Koppelman, though, that he loved the experience of working on Rogue One and assured the host that there were absolutely no assholes making his job harder. Um, but he did talk about how bad it was when he came on. And he also says he's not someone that follows Star Wars and has any reverence for the mythology, so it made his job easier. And I can totally understand that. And he also said he has no interest in working with Star Wars in the future. Um, but this is more just, I mean, it's like every single day, more evidence builds against Kathleen Kennedy every single day at this point. I don't know how much more bad news can continue to come out. And this isn't just people inventing stuff. This is someone that worked on Rogue One. We heard there were terrible production problems all through Rogue One, which is almost consistent, consistent with almost every Star Wars film under Kathleen Kennedy up to this point. There's been some type of controversy. Now, in all fairness, this is Star Wars, and so Star Wars is definitely under a microscope unlike any other film franchise. I completely understand that, and I'm, I'm aware of that. But these problems are so consistent, and it seems to be the same types of problems every time. And then the one film that we didn't hear problems on is the one film that has literally broken the fandom in The Last Jedi. I don't know why Kathleen Kennedy is running Lucasfilm. I don't understand it. It makes no sense. She tr she truly does not understand Star Wars. And she's truly not in this for the right reasons. She's in this for her agenda-driven reasons. That is pretty much undisputable at this point. I don't know how you can claim different. It's sad but it's another day, it's another piece of evidence that we can put against Kathleen Kennedy to say she's not the person that needs to be running Lucasfilm. Dave Filoni needs to be running it. If you want to put her there as a producer uh, or on the business side of it, as long as we don't have to see her or hear her voice and as long as she doesn't have any creative input, I can accept that. But Dave Filoni needs to be in charge of creative. This situation gets worse every single day at some point something's got to give and it's not going to be the fans we are not going to stop we are going to continue to voice our displeasure we will not stop until we get our star wars back i can promise you that you guys have a great day and also before i run many of you ask about my hoodies i'm still working on that but we do have t-shirts available in our Etsy shop. I'll drop it in the comments below or in our description below. And look, I've got two I've got two catalogs that I have to look through. I'm working on merchandise. I promise. I'm working on it. I appreciate everyone asking about that. I, I really do. So I'm working on that. It's just, it's a financial investment and, and I have to be strategic with that. Also, check out our Sports Wars YouTube channel. We finally launched it. We've got a few videos up. I will leave that in the link below. 
Uh, I've made a couple of videos over there. It's all sports, so if you have no interest in sports, then you don't have to subscribe. I completely understand. I'm not asking you to subscribe if you're not interested in sports. But if you are interested in sports and you want to hear more of the Geeks and Gamers style talk over on that channel, just with sports, please subscribe. Sports Wars, it's in our suggested videos, and I think you'll have a lot of fun over there. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.